Hello everyone and welcome to part 28 of my Fire Emblem Guide and Iron Man run. So last time we finished the hardest uh, chapter of Alms Route, which is, uh, you know, Nui Baba's man Manor. Uh, that's gonna let me recruit Zeke when I get over here, but the rest of Alms Route at this point is pretty easy. This is an annoying map, and this is an annoying map too, but the units I have in Alms Route are so overpowered. Um, you know, there's nothing I'm really too concerned about. And then the Angel Ring goes to Catria. Um, so this, this is a really weird map because the boss at some point will cast some really strange, like, spell that damages everyone on, on your side. I was hoping he'd be able to reach these witch some of these witches. Celica doesn't have, you know, normal, uh, movement. Is, how much damage are they gonna do to Est? Est has 12 magic defense, so these... Oh, they have lightning. So they just do... Probably the full force of lightning and damage to her. Oh, Dean can reach if he goes straight. Because Dean has... 19 magic defense. Okay, he won round KOs, uh, the witches, though. Some good EXP. Uh, 18, and you're gonna have 18 too, right? Yeah. Neither of them will double the dread fighters. Yeah. I can't double any of the dread fighters on this map. They need each of them would need one point. Well, no, Katria can. No, she also only has so much speed. Okay, Katria doesn't do as much damage as Dean and uh well, she has a higher critical rate, but she doesn't do- No, actually she doesn't. She only gets plus 20 critical. Dean gets plus 30. <laughs> okay. We'll move S tier, because she can at least take three hits. Celica is definitely too slow. Catria also has almost 60 avoid against uh, the witches. Yeah, that's the smart spot to attack from. I'm surprised they would attack Dean, though. It's probably because it has something to do with the javelin, I'm sure. Messes with the AI somehow. few options to attack with them. damage for Saber. He's, he only gets the kill because she attacked with lightning twice. But Saber could use some really good uh, level ups.
As far as dealing with the witches go, I'll leave that to them for right now. If she, go oh, if she goes there, the dread fighters will start to attack her. How much defense do you have? 17? She doesn't take any damage from the dread fighters. If she wants to go over there, she can. I don't think Volbar gets doubled uh, by the witches because he got he got a bunch of speed, so he's four speed. Nope, he does. Yeah, if the witches decide to attack Volbar, he gets doubled. Celica does not get doubled. In fact, she doubles them, but I don't think her magic defense is. Oh, uh, seven magic defense isn't that bad. It'd be better, but it's not bad. All these witches are gonna attack, uh, probably at range. hit her. That explains probably why they all attack there. Okay. And even though this Dreadfighter doubles Paula, she only takes one damage. Which translates into just taking two damage. But she missed. With how few of them are left, I'm not as afraid to have S try and fight them now. And S finally gets a good level up when I don't have her equipped with the Angel Ring. Because if she promotes, the primary benefit for S promoting right now is just the huge amount of HP she gets. Which one has low HP? One of them has really low HP, this one. Oh, that one's better for creative kill. Yeah, Saber can kill this one. The more of the witches I just get rid of, the higher the chance of Volbar not dying becomes. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that's a choke point. But on the off chance it isn't. Yeah. Salka doesn't do that much damage at range. I think this is gonna be a level up for Katria. And if she gets... Yeah. Okay, defense is still good. Um... Yeah, because otherwise it's gonna take forever to kill this- <laughs> She's still gonna take forever to kill this guy. I don't 
don't have any good ranged damage dealers anymore. I think he can only cast Mega Quake once. And it does a decent amount of damage. Let me double check on... No, actually, I'm not gonna double check. I'm pretty sure he can- in Guide and he can only cast Mega Quake once. He can't do it more than that. It did a decent amount of damage to Paula, though. I don't know if Mega Quake can kill you. It does- it does... really hurt your units. So how much HP does Selka have? Yeah. Okay. Dean's the highest level, or the closest to leveling up, and if he gets this, uh... Okay. right now, what I'm hoping for is that either Dean or Saber get a speed level up. Okay. But neither of them are close to getting one. I mean, they're both close to leveling up, but whether they're close to getting an actual stat to grow as a whole other question. Okay. S does good damage. How much HP did you say? She got 22. Okay. This Slayer might go into heal AI now. And if he does that, you know, that would kind of suck, but... What are you supposed to do? Hmm. That's not that much magic power. I think the primary... Oh, he's Fortify. I think the primary thing I still have to worry about for this map, and maybe I don't need to worry about it as much as I think I need to, is just, um... If the gargoyles end up attacking Celica. Okay, this one's gonna go for Catria. Oh, they do one damage to Catria too. She must have, like, 14 defense. Yeah, so I can move Catria over here. I'm just curious, what's her defense? 14, right? 16, okay. So she's... ...really set for the whole map. It's too bad she's so far away from leveling up. So there's a door on the other side. Is it possible to pro no. Only the only your flying units would be able to make something like that. Okay. 
I am getting pretty lucky with S hitting this guy. Waste of a turn. That's pretty much the worst case scenario for Paula's if she gets crit. And hopefully the enemies don't cast Mega Quake again. Not enough of the Mern range of Catria. She definitely does. Oh, she gains 4 EXP from them. That's not the worst idea in the world, I think, to have Katria just next to the boss. And try and kill him that way. Because his HP is not going to be high, very high this turn from casting a Mega Quake. These dread fighters, I don't have any good, fast way to deal with them, because none of my units double them. Okay, that guy finally moved to try and heal, though. I'm gonna heal Paula or Katria this turn. It doesn't make a difference which one. Main thing to check, how much damage do they do to Celica? Okay, they do one damage to her. Um, does she double them or does she get double? No, oh, and she doubles them too. Things are pathetic. So the enemies over here Take six damage from this guy. Death does a lot of damage, but she's the angel ring. How much damage does death do? Oh wow, he has 27 attack. That's... that's crazy. 27 magic attack. Even for Katria, that's a lot. 18 damage. She survives. If she gets attacked twice, it's a whole other story, but... Oh, it's red. Okay. And she's fine too, the only things that can reach her are... Those guys. Impala reached this boss? Now I don't have to worry about- Well, if she gets the hit, I don't have to worry about Mega Quake anymore. Okay. Okay, and then who do we want? Well, use the reason I'm gonna use Saber instead of Dean here is because Saber has the Holy Sword and Dean needs to recover some HP. And stuff like that is why you play a bit more cautiously sometimes. Okay, so Saber gets a speed level up, then that'll really help out. Nope. Alright, Dean, it's up to you to save the day.
Oh, that was a pretty nice critical hit for Celica. I think even if Katra gets hit with all of these attacks, she can't die. She don't, the only way she dies is if she gets hit, get a critical hit by the Baron. Oh, it's a high knight. He is high hit. Yeah, the high knights I have to kill with Celica. Just so much damage that the attack stat is like oh, the attack thing is over the bar. That's crazy. Okay. Because the last gargoyle won't move because it was just summoned. Comes to the next map against Jetta. Oh, they're all gonna start to move. And get back here, you. Not enough. That'll probably be enough for Dean to level up, though. He got the same level up as Saber. <laughs> wow. Volvar, be useful and kill this thing for me. There you go. There you go. Okay. Est is very fragile right now and can't take a hit from the dread fighters, but it's not a concern. Okay. We'll have Katria fall back so that she can heal. Paula does kill if she gets this hit. Good. And... What's that? Okay. That shaman needs to die. He's gonna move there. Okay. Just so that Katria can recover a bit of her lost HP.
I'll help clear up those gargoyles and then all I don't really know what I'm doing with her right now. She could move there, I guess. this goes. So right now Katri is just killing a bunch of uh, gargoyles. Hmm. I mean, I think I'm just gonna speed this up just because we know what's coming. start trying to move Celica. Oh, this is gonna attack Dean. <laughs> Why attack Dean from there? Okay. Oh, well, no, Dean does still kill them. The hero sword. He does get more e EXP from them than Katria does, which is nice. Oh, this one's back to attacking Saber. With his extra 1 HP, he is the superior slayer. Well, that was nice for him to get a critical. Okay. All these wizards are annoying me. Still can cast death. Yep. Okay. That was nice that he got a crit. Hopefully that means Dean can do the same thing. I have to wonder... Okay, there you go. I have to wonder if the gargoyles attack Dean, also knowing that, uh... Whatchamacallit, he has to heal. If I move Est over, she might be able to help with some triangle attack stuff. As far as EXP goes, the unit that would probably be the best to give EXP to would be Celica. Yeah, because the only person in my army who can handle the the barons are uh, is, is is really Celica, and then if I get the Pegasus sisters to do a triangle attack. Oh, that 
did a lot of damage. <sighs> yeah, I should have known. Like, right when I ended the turn, I knew that Paolo was going to get put into this position. Because if she gets hit with a crit, she's dead. And there's a high enough chance that these guys can't crit her. Alright, let's see. Is Paula dead or... No. She would have survived this turn with 1 HP thanks to her not getting crit. Saber has really high magic resistance. Does he take that much damage? He takes four. Yeah, because there's, like, in Echoes, I think, since they made High Knight's Terrors, so you could at least use, like, Angel to really deal with them, but right now the best thing that I have for fighting them is just having Selka attack like that. That's gonna lure the other Dread Fighter, uh... I'm curious, I don't remember, I think I said that this doesn't let you recover a bunch of HP. I think it's fair to say this is probably the last hard map of the game. So the next the next map is pretty easy depending on how you 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 try and tackle it. Because if you manage to kill the um Mogul or Biggle before it divides, then Jetta leaves the map. Otherwise, it ends up being a bit of a slog. Okay, she only recovers 5 HP. This Est only takes 1 damage from them. Selic only takes one damage, too. There's a... What is this, like a 20 or 30% chance she kills this, uh... High Knight. Oh my god. Celica takes one damage from them and then she doubles them, but she doesn't double them for a lot of damage. Right. I don't need to see Celica fail to kill some gargoyles a couple of times. Triangle attack. No. Okay. 
Yeah, and this one. Oh, they're all gonna attack her. Okay, yeah, S does more damage. Paula is low HP, so I'm just having her run away. Let's see. This guy's dead now. some of I mean I shouldn't have killed this one I mean I didn't nah that's okay because what I'm gonna do is that the one guarding uh, the cantors who all have uh catria kill so that saber can fight the shaman and hopefully kill him he's pretty close to leveling up too Hopefully, Saber just kills this guy in one round. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay, get speed, Saber. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much to ask for just to get one point of speed. Okay. That was nice. At least he got one last critical hit. Maybe Dean can get another? Guess how are we doing? Yeah. He's not gonna get another. Uh I'm gonna weaken this this guy for Celica to hopefully get the kill. I mean, not Selka, uh, Katria. If Selka gets a critical, she could get the kill too, but that's fine. gonna move on to fight Jetta. Now Jetta's over here and he has a dragon shield and death and he can't take any you know damage pretty like he's supposed to be unkillable and he stays on the map for as long as the the big ol' stays alive. Um, and you can only attack him every four turns. So even if you have everyone attack him with the triangle attack, um, and they all hit him, I mean, they'd have to double him, too, which they all the Pegasus sisters double him. But the bigger problem is also the amount of damage he does. Because death is 15. So he, he one-shots S. S. That's how powerful Jetta is. That he just kills her instantly. 
and how I handle this map is gonna be I don't think they have Oh this this one is extra fast because it's uh it's like the boss of the map essentially. Putting Dean there might have been a bad move. Because he'll take a lot of damage. Definitely a bad move, because Dean takes 25 damage this turn now, so he's in danger. Okay, he got the speed level up, which might come in handy. Oh, he summons them too. catcher so hopefully they'll be able to kill him okay who do I trust more to kill this thing Paula because she is less defense yeah Okay, that... Okay, that takes care of... Oh, well, they're all level 5? Okay. Patria is my best bet at, uh... Killing them. This is why Katri and Paula are just so, so good in Air and Celica's route. He doesn't even hurt her, uh. Gets two critical. I'm mean, gonna say we're gets two critical hits. This guy dies, but that's unlikely to happen. Kinda hoping Dean just doesn't get hit. Nope. Too much to hope for. He can run away completely though, which is nice. Okay. Oh, the Barons have two moves. This is the other annoying thing about Biggles, is that they can make more of themselves. And 
Catcher does not kill them. She takes very little damage, but she does not kill them in one attack. She's not strong enough for that. Okay, that probably doesn't help her enough to, to kill. Next goal is to just keep being alive. Yeah. I have to essentially attack Catria. One Impala 20 times for her to die. Wow. I guess it's because it tripled her dan- it added the extra points of damage for her to kill them. That's pretty crazy. Saber doesn't deal damage to these guys. <sighs> Make it stop. dodge everything too. This is just... What are they even doing? They're not even attacking. They're attacking Katria because they do more damage, but at least she one-hit KOs them. She gets no EXP from them. Uh... I don't get why they have two different attack animations, though. Which is the... Oh, this one attacked Paula. Oh, Paula killed that one. Are they... Not all... Oh, some of them are level 1. I guess the ones Jetta summoned were level 5, and the ones that he didn't summon are level 1. That changes things then, because the level 1, that's a level 5 one, that's a level 5 one. There are, most of them are level 5. This one's level 1. The level 1 ones Paula can kill, and the level 5 ones, she can't, well she has to also hit them too. that Paula got that level up. Okay. This guy's been on swamp tiles forever. Now he's finally off of them. Okay. Yeah, 
<laughs> Doing Celica's route without a Falco Knight is just a nightmare. Though the game also wasn't definitely wasn't designed or balanced around playing uh, how I decided to do this run. So what I'll do is uh, I'll start this is never ending. Okay. Okay, that was nice. All almost leveled up. Paul and Cat- like, Catria doesn't need any more stats for the rest of the game. She's pretty much set. Okay. I'm gonna start moving Saber over there. And Dean I'll heal. But I'll move him to fight the big ol' two. Five. Only stat I care that she could get is strength. And she didn't get it. I'm kind of hoping if I kill this one, it kills the big ol's that it's summoned. They're just gonna keep coming after me. Alright, Paula. Uh, <laughs> one HP. Uh, stop summoning. <laughs> Yeah, if Paula got the one point of strength, I think she also would have become able to kill them in one hit. So right now all she does is kill the level one ones in one hit. Okay, that was very nice. Level 5, but what they each have little HP. Catriac just straight up kills any Biggle that attacks her. I mean, they have to stop summoning them eventually. <laughs> okay, I spoke too soon. They're never gonna stop. This is just gonna be never ending. Never-ending barrage of Biggle.
The worst part is that Catria keeps missing. That's a Thor. <laughs> Stop summoning. Summoning them already. Okay. Are these all level one? At least they're all level one, so Paula can kill them. Ian can double them. That's nice. There's one level 5 Biggle left. The rest are all level 1. Alright. There you go, Katria. Oh, that one was actually in range of Dean. I mean, Saber, I should say. As they hit uh. stop stop summoning Bigel <laughs> okay that's the last level five one so now Dean can Kill, or at least double any of the other ones that are on the map and Paulo one hit KOs them. Finally. Finally. Good level up. I mean, I would have preferred if Katria got speed, but strength is still pretty good. I don't know what that extra strength is gonna do for her, but it's still pretty good. Like, what's his- <laughs> I wish that you could see what his accuracy was, because that's- that's ridiculous. These things have five movement? No, they have four. Alright. Ian, show them what a speed level up lets you do. Hopefully this is the last turn. So far it's looking like it's gonna be the last turn. All I need is for Paula not to miss. Good. Yeah. 
Very good. Alright. Don't know why those two didn't do anything, but I'm not gonna complain. Finally, the nightmare is over. I actually could have spoken too soon if Paula missed, but forget that. Okay. Uh, thanks for, yeah, thanks for your time, everyone. Have a good day. That, that map was a lot. <laughs>